So often in photography, we get up very early chasing that magic morning light. We never really know what we're going to get. As photographers, we can plan as much as possible, but sometimes nature has other ideas. As I returned to one of my favorite sunrise locations for some photography, little did I realize what nature had in store for me. Okay, so I'm all set up. I've got my Nikon D850 with a 70 to 200 mil lens on. I'm sitting at about 105 mil. I've zoomed into these trees out in the water and I'm just waiting for that sun to come up now and get underneath that cloud. There is a bit of high cloud, which is great. It means the color should get right in underneath it. And yeah, settings are ISO 64, F11, and I'm sitting at about six seconds. Filter I've got in the front of the camera is a 0.9 leaf filters, hard grad. So the colour is just now starting to poke through. I absolutely adore sunrises. You've got these beautiful beams of light coming through the cloud, that orange glow on the horizon. I'm just going to grab a shot here very, very quickly. Just a two second timer release. Yeah, that's just getting to the point where that colour is starting to come through now. Just a quick word to you guys. I've mentioned this before. This is the reason why I carry around a telephoto lens, whether it's my 80 to 400 or the 70 to 200, sometimes in landscape photography, it doesn't all have to be wide. You can zoom in and really get that frame you want. So in this case, the high tide was stopping me from getting my frame. But the good thing is having that telephoto lens allows me to get the frame I want. That really beautiful orange glow is just starting to come up. Oh, wow, hang on, what have I got flying in front of me here? No way. I've just had two black swans come across here and land right in front of my shot. Oh, this is just, that's why I love nature so much. I'll try and get a shot for you, hang on. I just sounded like that guy from American Pickers. No way. Oh no, you scared him away. Ah, uh, there they go. That is so rare. That is so rare. Like two very large black swans just landed straight here in front of me. Amazing. Okay, so that sun is just coming up now. I'm watching the color and it's just spreading across the clouds. I've got the perfect position too because there's no cloud over here, but there's cloud over here, high cloud over here. So fingers crossed this is gonna work. I think it is. So yeah, that color is just starting to come right across those clouds. Really beautiful. Okay, here's the colour. This is what I want. It's going right over the whole cloud bank now. Perfect. Now, little did I realize here that my local Osprey friend had conveniently landed 
on the far left tree. I'd say he was probably scoping out breakfast as the tide slowly receded. Oh, and a little side note, I'm not really complaining. This Osprey can photobomb me whenever he wants. I just love these guys. I'm just waiting for the sun to come up now. So I've got that shot with the color and I can just tell by the glow on the horizon that sun is not too far away. But wow, look at these colors. That's why I love getting up so early and getting out and capturing all these beautiful times. And it's around these times this year in the Southern Hemisphere, around that April, May, you really do get these beautiful sunrises. So you've got to make hay while the sun shines, get out of bed, get out, get your shots you need. Okay, here comes the sun. Just gonna poke through the top of that cloud there. It's gonna be right next to the tree on the furthest right of my frame. But it should be lined up just perfectly so it comes up and just makes a nice composition. that sun is just peeking over now just peeking over the edge of that cloud right now so beautiful Nature unloaded a multitude of stunning colours for me on this morning and I was so glad I was able to capture it and share it with all of you watching this video. Another absolutely stunning sunrise at Beachmere in Queensland, Australia. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Never stop creating, and I'll see you next time.